Hey, it's Andrew Bocher with GY6 Vids, back again with another fun video. This one is featuring a little beast that's probably worth more than most cars from the 90s. All right, here we go. I love this part. Let's go for the right one first. Man, that's fun. Nice little cleared area for my shooting range. Don't do this at home. It's a little bit drier right now, but I'm ready. I got fire extinguishers on hand, good to go. So the recoil impulse on this Korth NXS is pretty impressive, I'm not gonna lie. I'm absolutely loving how it feels. I would say that I would appreciate more texture on the grip, like if it was checkered or something in the wood, even with it being slick, it still feels really good in the hand and I'm enjoying the hell out of it. You acquire that front sight really fast as well. I love the fact that it is shrouded. You can take that off if you want to, but it gives you a little bit more of a tunnel that kind of hones in and guides your eyes to that front iron sight, which makes it great. Now you can put a red dot on here and it does look like this. Oh my goodness. Yeah, definitely not the red dot you want to throw on this thing, but why not? And <laughs> granted, you could get a smaller red dot and put it on there as well, but it's the only one I had on hand. I'm not gonna put a red dot on this thing. I, I think putting a red dot on a revolver is just blasphemy. But if you're a person who does like red dots and you're using this for competition or something, having a red dot is definitely an improvement and an advantage. So having it built into the frame is quite nice. You don't have to worry about screws coming loose and you know the optic kind of coming off center because the screws start to wiggle a little bit, especially with 357 Magnum. Let's shoot the uh, 38 Specials at some steel. Let's just move from target to target and see how it feels. Let's go in the main silhouette first. Yeah, it just feels so nice. I just jerked that. Just butter. I mean, obviously 38 Specials so is not going to be packing any huge wall up, but overall the recoil impulse of this gun does feel great and you get back on the target pretty damn fast. Let's go on to the small little plate to the right. Center plate. Oh, you know, <laughs> when you get cocky and you pull the trigger, eh. all right, stop being cocky, Andrew. Center plate, left target. It's just, this thing is so sweet. Absolutely love it. Double action. It's just fantastic. There's eight shells right there, and they shoot the shells out quite easy. It, with the moon clips, it'll come out even faster, but I don't like using moon clips. I love putting rounds into a revolver one at a time. I'm not looking to be a competition shooter with it. I just want to enjoy a revolver. A revolver is something sexy. It's like a, wearing a tuxedo to a bar, you know? You're, <laughs> you really don't have to, but it feels good, you know what I mean? Let's do uh, double action only and move target to target. Oh, moving target. Stopped it. Oh, see, I get cocky in the big one. And I'm like, ah, you know, I got it. Ugh. Happens to the best of us. Yep. Yep. God, this is so much fun to shoot. And just as you get moving and grooving, you're out of ammo. So having moon clips helps a ton. You can just moon clip into another eight shots and good to go. But it is nice to put some of these shells back into the cylinder. It's, it's a lot of fun. Double action only again, going from right to left. Oh yeah, oh yeah, aww, aww. 
Yes. Oh, it's moving. It's moving. Oh, it stopped it. Oh, yeah. Oh, moving. Oh, got it. Oh. All right, let's move into other targets. 357 Magnum. Mountain Dew Ling Tree. Mountain Dew Ling Tree. <laughs> da. Yup. Poor man's dueling tree. <laughs> yeah, I'll be here all night. Don't forget to tip your waitresses. Starting from the top. There's one. And there's five. You know, 38 Special feels like 22 out of this gun and 357 Magnum feels like 38 Special. It's very, very interesting. Da, 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 da. Targets are painted cool. I like it. Self-healing target. Not heavy, lightweight, thin, packable, storable. Gotta love it. You know where to find them. All right, let's do a eight shot accuracy test. 21 feet. See what it looks like using the iron sights. 38 special first, and we'll do five shots with the 357 Magnum. Let's aim for the top right corner of the A zone, that little right hand corner. Aim right there. Okay. Jeez. That is very impressive. Yeah, I'm hitting a little bit low and left. That's just on me. I'm putting a little bead kind of probably a little low and left where I should be aiming, but I wanted to see that upper right hand corner just to have a constant aiming point. So I put one of the little right hand sides of the front iron sight covering that right handed corner. That way I have consistent impacts and sure enough, that's a good group. I'll take it. Just standing off hand, 38 special. That's pretty cool. But thank you to our patrons at patreon.com forward slash GY6. You help pay for the ammunition for this video and I can't say thank you enough. You are my ammunition sponsor. So thank you guys, appreciate it. All right, upper left hand corner. Jeez. Yup. Yeah, that is a good group. <laughs> Better than 38 Special, that's for sure. I like this gun a lot. So the Nighthawk Custom Korth NXS, I think is the best way to say it. It looks like a gun the bad guy from James Bond would be using, you know, definitely stands out from the crowd, but the overall gun itself is very well made. You have a very high polished trigger. The trigger pull itself is still very long, but it's smooth. There's no hiccups. There's no glitches. There's no hangups at all. The gun is DLC coated, so it's going to make it very tough. And it also allows for more of like a Teflon slickness to it. So you can clean it off easier. The shells come out of the cylinder faster. Overall gun is just tougher and it's just a great coating to have on any firearm. 
Now up front, you do have a six inch barrel on this particular version. They have four inch ones as well, but this one's six inch and it is hammer forged. And obviously the elephant in the room is the vented shroud that goes around the barrel. This allows for cooling and for a very dramatic effect of overall appearance. Up top, you have pick rails. There's a little gap in the middle that you don't have a pick rail, but in the front and the back, you have pick rails to put on a red dot. But I'm not a fan of putting red dots on almost any handgun, let alone a beautiful revolver like this. But if you're into that and you're doing competitions and you want more precision, red dots do give you a huge advantage and you can put them on this gun. But what's nice is these pick rails are integrated into the gun. They're not plates that you screw on, so you don't have to worry about screws coming loose and the red dot losing at zero. It is a part of the gun, so you don't have to worry about anything shifting. Up front, you do have a shrouded iron sight. You can take this shroud off if you want, but I personally like it. It gives a, a good point of aim. Nobody's behind the camera. Good point of aim of where you're picking up that front iron sights a lot faster. It is it is helpful because it gives you kind of a tunnel of where your eyes want to follow down that rear sight to the front sight. I personally like it. You have a pick rail on the bottom as well, so if you want to put a light or whatever you want to put on there, it's up to you, but it definitely adds a cool effect, that's for sure. On the back side, you do have your cylinder release, so there's this little lever here. You push that forward, the cylinder pops out. It's very smooth. I absolutely love it. It's not, it doesn't take a lot of effort, and when you're holding this in your hand, you can engage it with your thumb and use your index finger to push that cylinder out, which makes it very nice for speed reloading, especially with moon clips. The rear sight is windage and elevation adjustable. I haven't messed with it. I'm just shooting it as it is. A really cool feature is the quick change cylinder. So you can see on the right side of the revolver, there's this little silver button. You can push that, but first let's open the cylinder. So when the cylinder is open, you push that little silver button and the cylinder just comes right off, just like that. And you can swap from going 357 Magnum with or 38 Special because those are interchangeable in the same cylinder to 9 millimeter, and they do offer that. So you can pick up a 9 millimeter cylinder. So the 357 Magnum or 38 Special cylinder is eight rounds, and the 9 millimeter cylinder is eight rounds as well. So you have eight rounds of 9 mil if you were to get that cylinder, and it's extremely easy to put back together. You just line that post up with the hole, you push in while pushing that silver button, it locks into place, you close your cylinder, and you're good to go again just fast. The last thing we'll talk about is the grip. It's kind of a con for me, but also very much a pro. This one is a Jim Wilson grip. This is a Turkish walnut, if I'm not mistaken. Turkish walnut is absolutely gorgeous. I wish it had more of a lacquer on it, a little bit more of a deep, you know, lacquer finish, something shiny, something deep to give it more of a gloss look, but it doesn't. It's kind of more of a traditional, you know, raw wood look, but it's a beautiful grip. I absolutely love it. Your hand fits into it like a glove. It goes right where it needs to be and you get good target acquisition right out of the gate. Push out on target, you acquire that front sight very easily because of how your hand positioning naturally goes onto this grip. It's a nice polished undercut as well, so you get a high purchase on the revolver. So the bore axis is a little bit lower than most larger frame revolvers. But the only downside about it is there's no texture to it. It's very slippy, it's very slick, but because it's made so well, even though there's not a lot of texture on it, you still have a good purchase on the gun. It's not like the gun's gonna fly to your hand. It's very, very much in your grip, but I just wish it had a little texturing on it, just a little bit. But then again, it's hard to argue the fact that you don't wanna mess up beautiful Turkish walnut. I don't know. So it's, it's a pro and a con for me. I just wish it had a little bit of texture on it. So once again, jump on board to potentially make this part of your arsenal, part of your collection. So you got to go over to go.getentertowin.com forward slash GY6. Link will be in the description as well. I'm going to be a part of many more of these types of events that give you very... All right. I'll see you guys next time. Later.